Hi guys, welcome to Witches of the Moon. Um, I'm your Wednesday host, and this week's topic is over familiars. <coughs> now, to me, a familiar is a pet. It doesn't matter what kind of pet; it can be any any pet. Um, but to me, a familiar is a pet that assists you in your magical workings, whether it be full ritual, whether it be spell casting, anything. Um, I had one at one time, um, I miss her dearly, and my practice now, it's still like it was before, but <clears throat> it's ju it's, it just has a different feel to it because I don't have her here with me. Um, she was a cat, and um, I'm, a, I'm a cat lover, I love cats. But, um, but to have a familiar is a very, it's a very strong spiritual connection between you and your pet. Um, and like I said, it can be anything from a snake to a lizard to a dog or a cat. Um, if you practice outside, I don't see why even if you live on a farm and you're like, you have, an, um, you have a connection with, say, horses. Um, and if you practice outside, I would think that even something as large as a horse or um, something like that can also assist you in your magical workings. So, um, that to me is what a familiar is, is, is any animal that has a connection with you and can assist you in your magical workings. Now, just their presence alone in your circle or um, in your workings can... It's the connection between you and the animal. And I probably am repeating myself because I'm keeping an eye on my daughter. Sorry. But... Um, but yes, I had one. She was a cat, and I miss her dearly. But, um, that's really all I have to say on this subject. I don't really know what else to talk about. Um, other than just telling you what a familiar is, and <clears throat> not everybody has to have one. Not everybody will have a connection with animals. Some people don't like animals at all. And that's fine. You're not required to have a familiar to be a witch or any other religion for that matter. You don't have to have uh, a familiar. But for some of us, it does help. Um, I know some that have, <clears throat> excuse me, I know some that have dogs as familiars. Um, I know many, many people that have cats. I do know a few that have a couple of lizards, um, uh, birds, snakes, um, so really any animal, even if you're an insect collector, like if you, not, not a collector, but, um, like, you know, those, you can even have, I've even, I've even known one person, um, that had received or had purchased one of those little, um, those little containers for their child where you can grow, uh, butterflies, you know what I'm talking about? Um, and I knew one lady that did that for herself. She would, you know, call in and get the, um, um, the caterpillars or whatnot and then she would always have butterflies bum, bum, bum. with her, and then when they would come out of their... Bum, 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 bum. Brie, Brie, Brie. When... Stop. Bum, Give me that. Bum, bum. I'm so sorry. Um, that when they would hatch out of their chrysalis, then they would release them, and she felt a sense of... the word I'm looking for. She had a sense of, uh, I can't, 
can't think of the word I'm looking for. Anyway, she had she just had an overwhelming sense of gratitude or um, because she actually helped something grow and then when it became an adult, basically, then she let it go. It's just, you probably know the word that I'm looking for, but I can't think of it right now off the top of my head. So, yeah. Um... So that's really all I have to say about having a familiar or any information that I have on familiars. I know as soon as I turn this video off, a whole bunch of other things are going to come into my head. Right now, this is all I can think of. So, um, yeah, we're almost done with this season. So stay tuned for the season finale, which will be in a few weeks. Um, and then after this season... Uh, we will be starting um, we will be starting um, auditions again for um, sub hosts for season two and um, we will choose our uh, our substitutes our we will choose them and I think we're going to choose up to three. So if you're interested, stay tuned for that. I will have a video up before the end of the season to let you guys know what we need. It'll have to be a video response. Um, uh, I know you can't tag them anymore, but um, you can still... I'll give all directions on what you need to do, what you need to talk about in your video, and all that good stuff. So that'll be coming up too. So stay tuned for that. And um, until next week, blessed be guys.